Once you have imported your lens into Fusion 360, we're going to be tracing the inside edge so that we can get a profile of our lens. If you look at the browser tree on the left hand side, we can hit some of the down arrows and see that our image is placed here. We can move, flip, rotate, adjust our images. And right now, what I'm gonna do is go to edit canvas by right clicking my image. I like working on the right side better and I'd like this to be symmetrical over the origin. So I'm gonna do a horizontal flip and that will put this into the right lens. If I look at this from the front view, I want about the edge of this to be half of my entire frame width apart. So I'm going to adjust this to the edge here as close as I can. And then I'm going to hit OK. I know that this now needs to get moved my total distance divided by two because this is going to be half of my frame. So again, I can edit my canvas and now I'm going to slide this all the way over so that it's about half of my glasses width. And I'm gonna use 140 as my frame width, so I'm gonna move it over 70. And if I zoom out, I can see my lens over here. My lens is gonna look very small in comparison, so I'm gonna to have to scale that up, but I'll do that in one minute. The next step is to create a sketch and we're gonna use the two point rectangle. We're gonna be drawing on this same face here. And for the two point rectangle, I'm just gonna draw mine in space. And I'm gonna make this the lens dimensions. For me, the height was 39.94 and the width 48.36 millimeters. I'll hit enter. This is gonna be my actual lens shape. And I need to put this centered on this X origin here. And I also need to move the edge of the lens over about here. So the first thing we're gonna do is select the outside edges of our box and turn them into construction lines by holding shift and clicking each edge. Don't click the inside. We can hit this button construction or press X on the keyboard. And now we have dotted lines. It's not part of our sketch, but we can use it to reference. By hitting D on the, command, on the keyboard, we can now click this center point and our edge here and set a distance. We want this distance to be half of our frame width. We can see that actually lines up really nicely with our edge. And that's gonna be half of this. So you can click that number and divide it by two. And that should move our lens equally. Now we need this lens to fit perfectly within this shape here. So, Let's adjust our canvas to fit this box and then we'll trace our lens. So we're gonna stop our sketch. We're gonna right click our canvas. And now we can scale in the X and Y or we can scale this entire plane here. And this is a percentage. So if we do 200, we can see it gets very large, 20% and we're close. We can do the math and ratios or we can get pretty close and adjust as needed. And I'm gonna try to get each of these edges to fit within here.
once you're pretty close and you feel like you have adjusted your lens to fit this box, you can now move your object in the right direction. I'll hit OK. And now my canvas fits in where my lens should be. The distance here to the edge of this box should be half my frame width. Once you've adjusted everything, we can now start a new sketch. And make sure you're in your lens tree. We're going to draw this sketch again on that same work plane. We're going to go to Sketch Tools and select Spline and Fit Point Spline. Now we can follow the outline of our shape as closely as possible and fit within that rectangle. So you can zoom in and try to do your best. It doesn't have to be perfect just yet. We can always add more geometries. My lens isn't perfect, so I'm going to hit escape on the keyboard and now I can adjust some of these points to exactly where I want them. This bump looks a little odd. And if you don't get exactly the geometry you're thinking you should have, you can click on your spline, right click, and insert spline fit point. That'll enable you to click and add a point. Hit escape again, and now you can adjust a little bit more cleanly. I'm gonna add one more over here. Select my line, right click, insert spline fit point, click where I want it, hit escape on the keyboard, and then adjust your points as needed. And that gives me much closer to my traced edge. I'm really liking that shape, so I'm going to stop my sketch. I can home out my drawing. It looks perfect. I'm going to click my lens and create, extrude, and we want to figure out our distance. I measured with the calipers and my lens is about 1.7 millimeters thick. We'll create a new body and then we'll hit OK. I'm going to hit this light bulb on the canvases and now I can see my lens just as it is. It's a flat lens and our lenses are normally curved but this will allow us to draw the rest of the shape of our glasses in Fusion 360. Make sure you save 